Yeah, so the, um, the goal is, is to quickly just get the uh, correct version of Bro running on your laptop. So if you have a USB key, uh, you should find one in your bag. Go ahead and put that in your box. You'll find two folders. <laughs> and uh, one, will, one will have VirtualBox in it, and the other one will have um, a, uh, a big tar GZ. If you go ahead and install VirtualBox and the VirtualBox extensions, uh, go ahead and get started on that. The, just by the end in the next you know, 20 minutes, you just should just have Bro running, uh, which is a, a good start for a Bro exchange. Uh, if you are already Git friendly, you can go ahead and just change to the Bro Exchange 2013 branch. Uh, We, we worked furiously over the last two weeks merging things in and didn't quite get to where we felt comfortable with the beta. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, we have this, this preview release that will at least let you do the exercises because all the exercises really focus on features of 2.2 because we, we did a lot of uh, heavy lifting for 2.2 and there's a lot of sort of visible changes and, and new functionality. So most of you should have the correct version of the uh, Bro or the VirtualBox extensions in your USB key. There may be a handful of keys that have a version 2.1 when in fact you need version 2.2. So um, if you do not have what you need, it should be a quick download. Um, when you get the VM spun up, the username is Bro and the password is Bro Exchange. That's the same uh, username and password for the root account as well. Yeah, there should be the first 60 or so people that uh, showed up got keys that were pre-burned. We didn't get the keys till yesterday at the end of the day, so it was there were JP and uh, Jay were up till one or two in the morning burning keys before we finally shut shut it down. Okay, so as you um, who has the uh, VM downloaded or installed or has uh, checked out the right branch? If you're if you're running in a Git, you can just type a Git checkout event forward slash exchange 2013. Um, if you're doing a new git clone, you need to make sure that you do a git clone dash dash recursive. So you pull down all of the uh, dependent um, uh, dependencies. Okay, so uh, these were my notes. Uh, that So here is the, uh, if you want to go and do the clone, you can go ahead and use this syntax right here. Now on the VM, this has already been done for you. So if you pull down the VM and go ahead and spin it up, you can just go ahead and log in with Bro and Bro Exchange, uh, open up a shell, and there will be a Bro subdirectory right off the Bro user account. You can just CD right into that directory, and you can do a uh, git status, and that'll show you your branch that you're on. And then you can do a, a git log, or a git log dash one line, and that will go ahead and show you um, uh, all the changes. So you can see that I think the last change that was checked into the VM was at 529. I don't know if that's the, if Seth, were, the, were there anything else? Was there anything else checked in last night? No. Okay. Uh, throughout the course of uh, the weekend, we may need, uh, we may ask you to recompile. We may push things right out to the repo. And if we do, uh, the, uh, this, this line right here will be what you can use to go ahead and, and pull it down uh, again. I'm sorry, you, actually you can just do a git pull would work as well. Um, Is anybody having trouble with VirtualBox or the VMs, or is everybody getting it installed okay? You are? Hey, Seth. Seth, can you, uh, can you run back and check the code? Yep. Okay. So this is uh, the, the version, the branch that you're on has uh, most of the key features for the upcoming Bro 2.2 release rolled in, uh, which will be released whenever it's ready. <laughs> no idea when that will be. Um, the key features that are, are, are already in there are the things that will be demonstrated uh, throughout the rest of the weekend. 
So as uh, people do demonstrations with the new file analysis framework, this branch is already comp uh, compiled and ready to go. If you'd like to see the instructions that I use to build that VM, it's just Scientific Linux, and you can just look at the bash history file, and you can see all the commands that were on there. Bros, bro is installed to opt slash bro. So if you wanted to go in and change your, uh, you know, your local uh, uh, config, it would be under opt bro share bro site, would be that local directory. If you want to just go ahead and confirm that bro is ready to go, you can type bro-v from the command line, and you should be on build, I think, 1009 or something along those lines. Okay. Is everybody getting the VM installed all right? Okay. Chuck, did you, are you finished? Did you guys get it? Time yet? Pardon me? Oh, uh, it's uh, just something that needs to be installed for uh, VirtualBox. There were a couple of the, the the USB keys have the wrong version, so if when you go to install the extension pack, just just go to uh, VirtualBox website and re-download it. a good idea. So if you copy this, if you haven't copied this down, you'll need to copy this bro tar.gz over to your local computer and then just uncompress it. And then when you open up this folder, you can go ahead and uh, double click on the smaller of the two files and it will open up in VirtualBox for you automatically. Okay. All right. So if you do not have the VM or bro up right now, can you just raise your hand so we can go ahead and just get some people over there to help you? Right. Seth, you want to head over? Oh, you're just, you're, you're going okay? Uh, right in the middle, Seth. Underneath the bro pcap directory, there is um, a single uh, 80 meg pcap. If you want to go ahead and test, you can do a bro-r and the name of the pcap, and it'll go ahead and, and chew that up for you and spit out a bunch of log files. Pardon me? Uh, it's under uh, a home bro pcap. Yeah. Uh, so if you are, if you are not using the VM, you will need that traffic file. Although you don't need it right now, you can test with any traffic if you want. Um, uh, and I'll I'll post that up on the website uh, before uh, Seth's talk because Seth's going to use that for the file analysis demo, so you can kind of follow along. Um, for uh, I'll be doing a malware demo tomorrow, and I'll have you do a, a cl get clone live and pull down some small traffic samples to replay through of a live malware. Uh, so if you um, don't have get yet installed, you should have get installed in your bro solution as well. That that will be a prerequisite. Yes. Oh, it is, it is on there, it just, um, right there. I tested it, it should be correct. Okay, if you need assistance, could you raise your hand? 
because uh, the, for the rest of the weekend, you'll need to have Bro up and preferably be on this branch to follow along with um, all the demonstrations. Everybody good? One over there. So this is much more exciting if I was actually demonstrating it. But um, you can do a git status and confirm the branch that you're on. And you can do a git log. And you can go ahead and see a listing of all the changes that have been rolled in there. So you can see uh, uh, Seth's frantic progress the last uh, a week as you see the 300 commits that were you know, kind of rolled in there. So if you've got the VM up, go ahead and change into the bro directory and execute the line I've got highlighted right there, just the git log dash dash pretty equals one line. And that'll show you a nice clean printout with just uh, the one line commit for each build number. So it's just, um, it's very instructive. Bro's a very fast moving target. You know, there are two schools. There's a lot of people that just are running the packages, but if you want to stay up with the most exciting parts of uh, git, a git master is usually incredibly stable. Uh, it, things don't get put in there until they're ready. Um, a lot of the, the test dev work happens out in the various branches uh, for exploratory stuff. Um, and when that's ready, that kind of gets brought in. So git master is pretty much you know, what we're, what's being polished for Bro 2.2. Kevin, you did you get it in? You good? It's bro and bro exchange, all lowercase. The root password is also bro exchange. So this is a little Git cheat sheet that I put together. If anybody would like it, this is what I personally use. If anybody would like it shared, uh, just let me know and I can just add you to it. It's basically just a listing of quick little Git commands uh, if you need assistance. It's based on the Master and Git series, the O'Reilly books, which are phenomenal if you have access to Safari. The guy did a video series, it's really good. So are you having trouble with the git, git clone? So if, you're, um, if git is net blocked on the public Wi-Fi, you can go to uh, GitHub and actually do download it via HTTP or HTTPS. OK, or you could clone to the HTTPS uh, URL for the git clone. If you already have it cloned down. So the two repos are synced, JP? So you. The, uh, then point it where you want to go.
Uh, if once you have the VM up and running and you've logged in, go ahead and just uh, change into the PCAP subdirectory and go ahead and do a bro dash R and replay that PCAP. And it should spit out lots of nice pretty log files for you. And that you can just confirm that you can get in and you've built it. Okay, so if you, if you don't have bro up and running right now, can you raise your hand? Uh, you need to be on 2.2, so you, um, I would recommend you use the VM that's already prepared. Um, pardon me? It's, it's, um, it's, it's, a current, it's current branch out, so it's like almost 2.2. The question was, is this, does the VM have 2.1 on it or 2.2? Bro and bro exchange. Yep. All lowercase. Uh, bro dash R and then the name of the PCAP. Pardon? Seth will have it. Seth, uh, the question is, is if you're not going to use our VM, if you're going to run bro out of your own distro, how do you get the PCAP? Uh, if you could just test it with another PCAP for now, that's fine. Seth will have his PCAP posted for his talk. Yes, George. I'll just share it with you. You want your personal or do you want your work? I can make it public. Why don't I do that? Okay, I'm going to walk around real quick and make sure that you're in. So if you need anything, just a shout out to Robin or myself, and we'll get you, get you guys up. So there is a Dropbox link. If, you, uh, want, if you're having trouble doing cloning the Git repo and you want to pull it down to your own box and not run the VM, you can use the uh, Dropbox link right there um, to go ahead and yeah, I will tiny URL it. <laughs> If you trust me, there's a tiny URL for it. Okay. That is, will just be a download of the full Git repo. Uh, I strongly recommend you just run the VM though. It's already been tested, it works. So uh, you should be good to go. So I think uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop and I'm gonna float around the room and we'll go ahead and, uh, I think there's a quick break scheduled after this. If you have not uh, gotten, if you don't have Bro up and running right now, we'll come around and get you where you need to be. Um, worst case, I think we can enable SSH somewhere and let you log into uh, another box.